federal judge in Texas has set to rule in a lawsuit that seeks to restrict access to one of the drugs typically used to induce abortion. The ruling could have an impact nationwide, even here in the tri-state where medicated abortion is legal. CBS 2's Dick Brennan here now with what this all means tonight. Dick. Recent Christine, this is the first major abortion case since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The plaintiffs filed a motion seeking a preliminary injunction to remove the drug Mifepristone, saying it's dangerous even though it's been used safely here and around the world for years. The drug was approved by the FDA more than two decades ago, and more than half of all the abortions in the U.S. use this method, in part because doctors say it's less risky than a procedure. It is a really safe medication. It's been used in Europe for even longer than it was used in the U.S., so there's decades of evidence supporting its safety and its efficacy as it's used. But a lawsuit filed by the Alliance for Hippocratic Medicine, an anti-abortion organization, seeks to reverse the FDA's approval of the drug and remove it from the market. Market, claiming it has insufficient safety studies. And we're confident that when any court looks at the law and looks at the science, it will realize that the FDA has completely failed its responsibility to protect women and girls. The case is in the hands of a single federal judge, a Trump appointee, Matthew Kaczmarek. Progressive groups are concerned because he worked for anti-abortion groups and causes before he became a federal judge. If there is a nationwide injunction, uh, then the drug used for medication abortions will be off market in all 50 states, uh, at least at, during the period where the injunction is in force. While other abortion pills will still be available, this would severely limit abortion options around the country. What's now a two-pill regimen could become a one-pill regimen, and that's less effective. There is no question that reversing Roe v. Wade has made it much more difficult for women to find termination of pregnancy facilities, but by taking away this pill, you're going to even more markedly reduce their ability to get safe, effective termination options. Now, the federal judge's ruling on the injunction could come at any time. Whatever he decides, the ruling will likely be appealed, and it's very possible the case will end up before the U.S. Supreme Court. Christine. All right, Dick, thank you.